Welcome to a Blast Tag Association feature match. Today we are playing Quick Flag in Singapore. We have the teams Hack and Ghetto Blaster Inc. Both very well-known teams in the Singapore region. Ghetto Blaster Inc. is the current team on your screen right now. And Quick Flag is a fast-paced uh, best of three format that involves a small field, high-powered blasters, and uh, takes heavy inspiration from Speed QB. Now, a lot of players in, in Singapore prefer to use Springer Blasters. They enjoy the power you can get from them going up to around 250 FPS or so in these formats. And uh, the field you'll see has a good amount of cover with a snake side on the left of your screen right here and some walls and other barriers throughout the rest of the field. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Right off the break, you can see the team spreading out. Two players going right for GBI. One is eliminated. They have two in their back, and they're trying to cover all three rounds. The player on the wall side for GBI has gone down from the opposing wall by hack. And uh, now the Ghetto Blasters Inc. team is down two players, I believe, and they don't have anyone covering the right side of the field. That really negates a lot of their options. Their player is moving to the right side to try and spread out. They do tag out the hack wall side player. They now have someone pushing on the left for Ghetto Blaster, but they are eliminated. They try again. He is able to get one and is tagged out in return and traded. And there is the last player for Ghetto Blaster, Inc. Now, all the players for Ghetto Blaster have been eliminated, but hack is not... 100% uh, certain of that because it all did happen relatively quickly. Now, despite the fact that all the players are eliminated on Ghetto Blaster Inc., the round is not over until the flag is placed on the uh, opposing team's table here that you can see from this perspective. And at the bottom right, you can see the timer. There is a two-minute time limit for each round. So even if you happen to eliminate the entire team, if you cannot get that flag to the opposing uh, side's table and hang it, you do not win that round. So let's go ahead and jump into round two with Hack up 1-0. The teams have switched sides here. You can now see Hack on your screen, and we've switched over here. You can see Ghetto Blasters Inc. on the other side off the break here. Hack actually loses two players on the right-hand side for a massive advantage, and a player from Ghetto Blasters rushing on the other side, and that just about does it for this round. It was an incredibly quick, incredibly effective and efficient round from GBI, claiming the second round, tying things up 1-2-1, one, one, leaving the third and final round for the decider. Teams have once again switched sides for the final round to decide the winner of this match. Here we go off the break. We see GBI lose one as he tries to get into cover. Three behind that middle piece of cover is definitely rough to try and achieve. It's not enough space. And they actually lose one more on the wall side, leaving GBI with three players to the five of hacks. And that is going to be a big problem for GBI as they can't really spread out and take advantage of all the angles in the field while Hack can stay comfortable. And uh, this player from GBI is looking like he's going to try and make it back to that middle piece of cover, but is tagged out. Now, I'm not certain the reasoning for that because if they're all behind that middle piece of cover, they cannot appropriately shoot down all the different lines of this field. These two players left, one of them is going to make a run down the middle, take actually hack by surprise, they do not see this coming, he's able to get one, uh, the other player from GBI is taken out, those with a one versus four, and the GBI player just misses getting that other hack player in the back and runs into the rest of the hack squad. That's going to do, it's going to result in a hack win two to one. This was a really entertaining, really good match to watch that came down close. Just a couple things here and there in that last round that GBI really had to fight and struggle to come back from. Being down off the break is definitely a huge disadvantage. And when you don't have any, anyone on that right-hand side, you can't apply the pressure necessary to allow the rest of your team to get work done. So it was a good attempt on their part to try and rush down the field and take Hack by surprise, but it did not quite work out. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any interest in learning more about all the competitive formats, such as Quick Flag and everything else offered through the BTA, you can head to blastertagassociation.com to learn more, find a league near you, or even start a league. With that said, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.